In today's world, certain outbreaks have the potential to expand rapidly, undetected before our ability to know they're there. The Biological Threat Reduction Program, or BTRP, focuses on what we call non-proliferation uh, threat reduction activities. We focus on biological material that could be used as weapons. At the source, we focus on making sure those materials are secure. It's not just bioterror agents, it's natural incursions of pathogens between countries. These, these threats know no natural borders. Secondly, we try to work with our partner nations to make sure there's not an accidental release of that material. Partnerships are extremely important without having relations uh, it would be impossible to get our work done. This is not something that the United States can do on its own. Thirdly, we're charged with making sure there's not a, a pandemic outbreak that impacts our U.S. military forces and or our allied partners. Depending on how an agent gets out of a facility accidentally or intentionally, it could run a range of different scenarios in terms of what that could mean. Senators Sam Nunn and Dick Luger came together in 1991 to establish the Cooperative Threat Reduction Program. At the end of the Cold War, with the disbandment of USSR, suddenly you had a number of countries in the former Soviet Union that had biological, nuclear, chemical weapons in their backyard, and they didn't have the infrastructure to take care of them. The Biological Threat Reduction Program was born out of the Cooperative Threat Reduction Program. The goal was to keep those idle hands busy, to prevent them from using their expertise in developing biological weapons. There are also new threats when we're talking about biological issues. There could be altogether new viruses or pathogens that we've never come across. What we do with the Biological Threat Reduction Program depends on partnership. The Biological Threat Reduction Program works collaboratively with our in-country partners to identify capability gaps and then develop a, a plan. The more that the local resources can respond quickly on their own, the sooner action can be taken to help mitigate or keep that event at the lowest level possible. We engage foreign scientists who are tasked with detecting and reporting high consequence disease outbreaks within their own country. Scientists are key because that's where the innovation comes from. The Biological Threat Reduction Program in Ukraine we've organized the Regional One Health Research Symposium. We see the Ukrainian scientists directly interact with each other, constantly trying to build collaborations and work across disciplines. They do collaborative research and also writing and educating Ukrainian scientists um, so that they can be more independent and they can have a stronger network with global science community. The Biological Threat Reduction Program has been working in Georgia for uh, over a decade. One of the flagship accomplishments is a primary reference lab in the country where all the district samples come to be verified and validated once there's been initial detection elsewhere in the country. The Lugar Center is a part of big laboratory surveillance system in the country, which consists of 22 labs. The Lugar Center is a technical center of expertise that the Georgians have where they uh, can do laboratory diagnostics on biological threats. They have a repository in order to keep certain agents safe and secure. The Electronic Integrated Disease Surveillance System is an information system that pulls together disease reporting data from human and animal laboratories. We've put it in place in a number of the countries and other regions in Southeast Asia. Thailand is the first country that has accepted it and implemented it. The Pathogen Asset Control System is an electronic inventory system. When a sample comes to a laboratory, it gets a barcode, and as it proceeds through the process of diagnostics, they add that data to the inventory. It helps provide a security layer of knowing at all times where all your pathogens are and actually who accesses them at what time, for what purpose. We try to work with whatever system is there and stitch them all together such that all of the labs are connected. If something happens, it's quickly reported. The more we can shift our focus to how do we prevent this crisis from ever happening, the better off we'll be as a country and as a global community. BTRP has made a point of trying to work more broadly and is dedicated to creating solutions that will integrate into the current practice so that that country will take it over and sustain the capability on their own. Because we are here and we are developing those sustainable capabilities with our partners, we are able to ensure 
that the globe is a more safe and secure place to live. All the flags behind me represent cooperative partners, uh, not just countries we engage with, but truly cooperative partners who want to work with us and which we've established mutual goals uh, to achieve together.